Microsoft Excel Learning about the components of the Excel windows Worksheet and formatting a worksheet Hello children! You have learned to work with MS Word which is the word processing software of MS Office. You will now learn to work with MS Excel which is another program from the MS Office suite of applications. MS Excel is the spreadsheet software. A spreadsheet is a software tool that lets one store, analyze and manipulate a set of numbers. In a spreadsheet, numeric or text data is entered into cells which form a table and this data can then be manipulated and analyzed. Getting to MS Excel Start Programs Microsoft Excel The screen shown here will appear. Title bar, Menu bar, Standard bar, Formatting bar, Columns, Active cell, Column header, Name box with cell address, Formula bar, Status bar, Scroll bar. Components of the Excel window Let's take a closer look at the various components of the Excel window. The title bar The title bar appears at the top of the Excel window and contains the name of the active document. The right end of the title bar has the minimize, restore down and close icons. The menu bar the menu bar contains various menus like File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, Data, Window and Help. These menus provide us a list of commands to carry out various jobs. The Standard Toolbar The Standard Toolbar contains tool buttons or icons which are used to carry out standard operations such as open, save, cut, copy, paste, sort, etc. The formatting toolbar This bar is placed below the standard toolbar. It contains icons like font, font size, bold, italic, etc. These icons help us to format our worksheet. The formula bar. The formula bar is placed below the standard toolbar. On the left end of the formula bar is the name box. This shows the address of the active cell or the cell in which you are currently working. The right side of the formula bar is used to display or edit the data present in the active cell. The Cancel, Enter and Function button appears on the formula bar when you have made an entry in the active cell. Cancel button This button is used to cancel the entry just made in the active cell. Enter button Clicking this button is equivalent to pressing Enter key. Insert Function button this button lets you insert function in the worksheet. Status bar It appears at the bottom of the spreadsheet. It displays various messages regarding the task being carried out on the worksheet. Scroll bars The Excel worksheet has two scroll bars. The horizontal and vertical scroll bars. These bars allows us to view the different areas of the Excel worksheet. The Excel document area is made up of a grid of rows and columns and is known as the worksheet. Each file in Excel is known as a workbook. You can have several worksheets in a workbook. You will now learn about the various components of the Excel worksheet. Worksheet 
it is a grid made up of rows and columns. The MS Excel worksheet has 65,536 rows and 256 columns. Rows are horizontal lines running from top to the bottom on a worksheet. They are labelled as 1, 2, 3 and go on to 65, 536. Columns are vertical lines in the worksheet. They are denoted by letters in the following pattern. A, B, C, D up to Z, then A, 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 B, A, C up to A, Z, again B, A, B, 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 C, B, Z, C, A and so on. The last column of the worksheet is I, V, which is the 256th column. Cell A cell is a unit of a worksheet. A cell is formed by the intersection of the row and column. Each cell has a unique address which is formed by the combination of column letter and row number like A1, B20, etc. Workbook An Excel file is known as a workbook. Each workbook has three worksheets by default. But you can insert more worksheets in an Excel workbook. The tabs for the worksheet in a workbook are visible in the same line as the horizontal scroll bar. These tabs are clicked to view the worksheet. You can give names to your worksheet by following these steps. Click on the worksheet tab. It is named as Sheet 1 by default. Right-click the mouse to get the shortcut menu. Click Rename. The tab gets highlighted. Type in the name you wish to give to the worksheet. A workbook can have maximum 256 worksheets. Cell Pointer The mouse pointer turns into a square in the Excel worksheet. It is used to point to or select a cell, which is why it is known as a cell pointer. Active cell The currently selected cell is known as the active cell. Range of cells A group of continuous cells which have been selected is called a range of cells. A range may be a single cell or a group of cells. A range can be given by specifying the address of the first and last cell of the range. Example, A2, C5, D7, H100. Cell address. In Excel, each cell has a cell address which is formed by a combination of the column letter and row number. For example, the location of three cells in the worksheet shown below are cell 1, A1, cell 2, A2, cell 3, A3. Creating a new workbook To open a new file in Excel, click on New in the standard toolbar. To open an existing file, click on the open icon on the standard toolbar. A dialog box will open. Locate the file and select it. Click on the open button. To save a workbook, click on the save button on the standard toolbar. The save as dialog box will open. Type the name you want to give to your file. Click on Save. MS Excel will save your file by attaching an extension .xlsx to it. .xl To exit Excel, click File menu, Exit. Selecting a single cell. 
To select a single cell on the worksheet, click on the cell with the cell pointer. A black border surrounds the selected cell. This is now the active cell. To select a range of cells, to select a range of cells, click the first cell to the range and then keeping your mouse pressed, drag the mouse pointer to the last cell of the range. The range gets selected. Entering data into a cell. To enter data in the cell, move the cursor to the desired cell and click once. The cell becomes active. You can now enter data. The data you have typed appears in the cell and the same data is also displayed in the formula bar. Editing data To make changes to the data, you have entered into a cell. Double-click the cell that contains the data to be edited. This allows you to make changes to the data in the cell. Press the Enter key to click outside the cell to occupy changes made to the cell. Or press Escape to cancel the changes made. Selecting a single column or row. Click on the column or row heading. The entire column or row gets selected. Selecting multiple rows or columns. Select the first row or column of the range by clicking on its heading. Drag the mouse pointer to select the other rows or columns. To select multiple rows or columns which are not in the continuous range, click the first row or column heading of the range to select it. Keeping the control key pressed, click on the other rows, columns to be selected. They are all highlighted showing that they too have been selected. Selecting the entire worksheet. To select the entire worksheet, click on the Select All button at the top of left corner of the worksheet or press Ctrl plus A. Deleting the contents in a cell. Select the cell whose contents have to be deleted and press the Delete key. Inserting a row or column. Sometimes while working on the worksheet, we need to insert a row or column in between. To insert a row, click on a cell above which you want to enter a new row. Click on Insert menu. Click on Row. A row is inserted above the selected row. To insert a column, Click on a cell on the left to which you want to insert a new column. Click on Insert menu. Now click on Column. A column is inserted to the left. Deleting a row or column. To delete a row or column, select the row or column you wish to delete by clicking on the row or column header. Click Edit menu. Delete. Or, right-click your mouse and click Delete from the shortcut menu. Resizing row height or column width Sometimes the data we are entering in a cell may not fit the standard width of the column. This may happen when you are using a large font or writing long names. Or it may be that the column is too wide for the data. So, we need to adjust the column width. Resize a single column width. To change the width of a column, on the column header, click the column's right boundary. The mouse pointer will become a cross. Use this cross to drag the boundary on the right side until the column is the width of you want. Resizing multiple columns To change the width of multiple columns, select multiple columns by dragging the cursor along the column heading. Right-click your mouse button. Click on Column Width. Enter the new width. Or, 
select multiple columns by dragging the cursor along the column heading. Drag the boundary of a single selected column to resize the column. The selected columns will change their width. Resizing a single row To change the height of the single row, drag the boundary below the row heading until the row is the height you want. Resizing multiple rows To change the height of multiple rows, select multiple rows by dragging the cursor over the row heading. Right click your mouse button. Click on Row Height. The Row Height dialog box appears. Change the row height as needed. Or select multiple rows by dragging the cursor over the row heading. Drag the boundary of a single selected row. All the selected rows will change their width. Formatting a worksheet. Create this worksheet in Excel. Name it as Marksheet. Changing the font type, size and color. Select the cell you want to format. Click on the Format menu. Cells. The Format Cells dialog box appears. Format the cell by using the options available here. Or use the Formatting toolbar. To change the font type by choosing the font from the font drop down list. Change font size by choosing from the font size drop down list. Change the font color by choosing from the font color palette. Filling the cell with color. Select the cell with the cell pointer. Choose a color from the fill color palette on the formatting toolbar. The cell fills with color. Dragging a border around a range of cell. Select the range of cells. Click on the arrow next to the border icon on the formatting toolbar. The Draw Borders dialog box appears. Select the type of border you want. Using Auto Format The Auto Format option lets us format worksheets quickly and easily by choosing from a number of pre-designed formats. Select the range of cells. Click on Format menu. Select Auto Format. Select a format of your choice. Click OK. The worksheet is formatted as desired. Summary We have learned about the following points. MS Excel Software A spreadsheet is a software tool that lets one store, analyze and manipulate sets of numbers. Rows are horizontal lines running across the worksheet. Columns are vertical lines in the worksheet. The various tools of the formatting toolbar can be used to format an Excel worksheet. That is all in this lesson, student. Keep it up. Good going.